Trump's Georgia election case faces delay appeals set for October, trial likely post-election. The Georgia Court of Appeals has scheduled the tentative date of October 4 to hear arguments on removing Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis, from the election interference case against former President Donald Trump and others, this timeline suggests the disqualification fight could extend into October, alongside the pending Supreme Court decision on presidential immunity. Attorneys received notification of the tentative date after the case was docketed Monday, as reported by CNN. Defense attorneys' briefs are due within 20 day. Biden slams Trump as convicted felon, doubts rise over pre-election trials. President Joe Biden took a bold step by labeling his predecessor, Donald Trump, a convicted felon for the first time, marking a significant shift in his rhetoric against the Republican frontrunner. Biden's pointed remarks came during an off-camera fundraiser in Connecticut on Monday night. Following pressure from some Democrats to intensify political attacks on Trump after his guilty verdict in the New York hush money trial. For the first time in American history, a former president who is a convicted felon is now seeking the office of the presidency, Biden stated. But as disturbing as that is, even more damaging is the all-out assault Donald Trump is making on the American system of justice. Biden to unveil controversial immigration order limiting asylum seekers at border. President Joe Biden is set to announce an executive order as early as Tuesday that would drastically limit asylum seeker crossings at the U.S.-Mexico border once a daily threshold is reached. This sweeping move aims to curb illegal crossings and is expected to ignite fierce opposition from progressives and immigration advocates. Sources familiar with the order told CNN that this significant policy shift comes just weeks before Biden's first presidential debate with former President Donald Trump, who has consistently championed hardline immigration policies. The order leverages the 212F authority, a regulation previously used by the Trump administration and heavily criticized by Democrats at the time. Major updates in Hunter Biden's controversial trial. Hunter Biden's ongoing battle with addiction could take center stage today as opening arguments are set to begin in his highly publicized trial over gun charges. Biden has pleaded not guilty to all charges, including allegations of lying about his drug use when purchasing a firearm six years ago. The trial expected to last two weeks, has captivated the political world following former President Donald Trump's felony conviction last Friday. Despite his legal troubles, Hunter Biden has remained a peripheral figure in his father, President Joe Biden's political career and will not be on the ballot in November. Jury selection started Monday, with U.S. District Judge Mary Ellen Norica aiming to seat 12 jurors and four alternates. India begins vote counting in historic election, exit polls favor Modi's third term. India has commenced the vote counting process for its 2024 general election, with exit polls predicting a landmark third consecutive term for Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Exit polls released on Saturday indicate that the Bharatiya Janata Party-led National Democratic Alliance is on track to secure a commanding majority. The NDTV poll of polls forecasts the coalition winning 365 seats in the 543-member lower house of parliament. While exit polls are not always precise, they suggest a strong showing for Modi's party. To form the government, a party or coalition needs at least 272 seats. The anticipation of a BJP victory has already sent markets soaring, with key indices Nifty 50 and Sensex climbing over 3% and reaching record highs on Monday. France's far-right poised for major EU election victory. French far-right leader Marine Le Pen may not be on the ballot for the upcoming European Parliament election, but she's poised to be one of its biggest winners. Polls predict her national rally party will outperform President Emmanuel Macron's moderate pro-business party, capturing the top vote in France across Europe Le Pen's anti-immigration and nationalist ideas are gaining traction. The June 6 to 9 elections across all 27 EU countries will reshape the European Parliament and influence policymaking in the European Commission, likely shifting the balance further to the right. This surge could significantly boost Le Pen's chances of winning the French presidency in 2027, a goal she has long pursued. Poland Prime Minister issues dire warning, vote to avoid war in upcoming EU election. Vote if you don't want to go to war. That's the stark warning from Poland's Prime Minister Donald Tusk, as the European elections approach this weekend. His message is clear, security and the threat of Russian aggression are on the ballot. With pro-Russian parties gaining traction in Central Europe and beyond, Tusk's civic coalition is emphasizing the need for a united and resolute EU stance against Moscow. Tusk is rallying Polish citizens to cast their votes to ensure their safety and maintain a strong defense against external threats. Elon Musk's X now permits adult content, major update to platform rules.
In a bold move Elon Musk's X has updated its content moderation rules, now officially allowing users to post adult and graphic content on the platform. Previously X users could share such content in a gray area without explicit permission or prohibition, with several not safe for work NSFW, communities already in place. We believe that users should be able to create distribute, and consume material related to sexual themes as long as it is consensually produced and distributed, states the company's support page on their new adult content policies. This shift marks a significant change in how X handles and moderates adult content, potentially redefining user experience on the platform. You can't buy Berkshire stock at a 99% discount, it was a stock exchange glitch. On Monday morning, a glitch on the New York Stock Exchange caused trading halts for 40 stocks including Berkshire Hathaway, which appeared to trade at an astonishing 99% discount. Class A shares of Warren Buffett's company seemed to plummet to $185.10 per share before trading was halted. This pause can occur before a news event, due to regulatory concerns, or when a stock's price moves outside certain bands, which was the case for Berkshire Hathaway. A few trades at the drastically reduced price were recorded just before the halt, as per LSEG data. The NYSE has since announced that it will cancel these erroneous trades, rectifying the market mishap. Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez squash breakup rumors with PDA packed outing. Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez are proving their love story is stronger than ever amid recent breakup rumors, the couple stepped out for a family outing at the YMCA in Hollywood, California on June 2nd. The duo was spotted sharing some affectionate moments as they headed into the recreation center to watch Ben's 12-year-old son, Samuel, play basketball. Joining them for the event were Ben's mother, Chris Anbolt, and his ex-wife Jennifer Garner, with whom he shares three children, Samuel Violet, 18, and Serafina, 15. Their united front and public display of affection are sending a clear message Benifer is here to stay. James Corden stands up for fellow passengers after nightmare British Airways flight. James Corden became the hero of the skies over the weekend, standing up for his fellow passengers during a chaotic British Airways flight from Portugal to London. A passenger named Vanessa told Metro that the former Late Late Show host 45, took charge and confronted the airline staff over the unacceptable conditions on board. The drama began when the plane circled at a low altitude for about 45 minutes after takeoff, followed by an automated emergency landing announcement. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for more news updates.